Mike Bond here on Fight Island in Abu Dhabi with Max Holloway, who headlines Saturday's card against Calvin Cater, the ABC debut, Max. This yeah. is very exciting stuff, the home of the NBA Finals. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's crazy, you know. Um, even the even the time that we have, it's like a prime time spot. So I, I just can't wait, man. I can't wait. You know, we we're on ABC. We're in a new arena. I get to bless this new arena. We're the first main event in this new arena, and we're the first event of the year since three weeks. It was the last UFC event, and then again, there's the fans. You know, what I mean, there's the fans. The fans is back in attendance. So I just can't wait, man. This this is gonna be a fun one, and I can't wait to go out there and do my thing. And I find it interesting, you know, after the last two fights, we don't have to go into them, but people are maybe speculating this is some sort of like crossroads fight for you or something. But I remember you lost two fights in a row earlier in your career. One was a questionable decision. Then what happened after that? You put 13 in a row together. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, January has been a good month for me, period. If you go look, if you go look back in time and uh, if it's another 13 fight win streak, why not, you know, but let's make it like 14 or 15. So we're not we're not tied with other people. So, you know, I, I, like I said, there's there's records that 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 state I want to I want to grind for. And there's records that I have that I want to make it hard for people to get to. So at the end of the day, we just we just working hard, man, putting my nose, my nose in the dirt and uh, just keep working hard. Yeah, and you've got all the records. I mean, we've talked about this many times, but one that I kind of noticed coming in is you're now the only fighter in UFC history to have 2,000 significant strikes land in the octagon. The next person has like 1,700. That's yeah. incredibly impressive. Yeah, you know, it's, I mean, it's crazy, you know. Now you tell me the numbers, I, I didn't know that. That's just funny. Uh, that's cool, you know. Now, hopefully by the time I end in my career, it's like at 10,000, so it'd be a hard number to hit. That'd be insane. Yeah, that'd be insane. Well, um, you know, do you feel any of that outside noise coming in? You know, people saying the, the two fight losing streak, the one and three in the past four, does any of that seep into your mind at all? Ah, no, not at all, not at all. Like I said, I told you, you interviewed me many times before and I tell you guys the same thing. I'm all and all, no matter what, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and, and that's what it is. I'm, I'm approaching this fight as all and all. Uh, Kelvin is a very dangerous guy. I can't get too ahead of myself. Um, he's standing across from me. He worked his way to beat across the octagon for me for a reason, so you gotta respect that. So at the end of the day, I respect him a lot, but uh, we get to find out what he's about come Saturday. So. Yeah. And uh, coming into this, you know, as far as this matchup, Dana White said in an interview recently that you came to him after the last fight and kind of said, "What's the lay of the land here? Like, uh, where is my career going from here?" Can you kind of recall that meeting and what your thoughts were going in and after what you took away from speaking with him? Yeah, we just wanted to see what, what what was going, you know, what was the road, you know, what what the road looked like, you know, and um, he he pretty much said what he said, you know, he said go out there, just keep working, kid, and we see what happens. You know, we figure it out, and we always do, you know. Uh, like I said, all I can control is what I do. So in the, in the octagon, and come Saturday night, I'm gonna go do my job, and then you know I got a manager for to control all those things outside the octagon, and. He's going to have to do his job after Saturday night. But first things first, I got to go in there, do my thing, and, uh, and show the world what's up. And you've seen it done at all. You've fought every type of opponent. Calvin, do you think you've fought anyone who kind of has similar traits to him? Uh, not at all. You know, Calvin is Calvin. You know, I, I hate when people say, like, I fought a guy like Max, because you didn't. You know, it's a different guy. You know what I mean? Like, we're completely different people. You might, even saying that somebody's like me is, is, is wild. You know, we all got different mechanics. Our body builds is different. And that's the way I, that's the way I'm approaching Calvin. You know, he he loves boxing. I love boxing, so I can't wait. You know, I can't wait to go in there and uh, do a boxing thing. I guess. And you said yourself, uh, we spoke many a times, and I was interested by the media scrum you just did there, and you talked about Conor McGregor and potentially uh -huh. wanting to fight him in the future. Uh -huh. Usually, you've kind of not got into that too much and brushed it off a little bit. Uh -huh. What changed where you're kind of more open and more thinking about that fight? I wish it happened. You know, I'm just a competitor. You know what I mean? I'm a competitor, and the guy was, the guy was retired, and all of a sudden he came back from retirement. You know, so everybody who keep telling me, leave DC alone, he's retired. I was like, no, you guys don't. You know, look, if Connor come back, DC could come back, and uh, DC know who the daddest man on planet is, and uh, he needs to see me. You know, I, I DC showed me the house that he bought recently. Looks like a damn castle. So. He might be out of he might be out of retirement sooner than later, so you know, hit me up, DC. You know, you know where to go, where to find me. He's around here somewhere, I think. He is around. I actually did an interview with him, and I let him know exactly what I said. So he still didn't say nothing. So who knows? And last but not least, and most importantly, Max, you know, put all the fight stuff to the side. I have to ask you, what is going on with these Toronto Raptors? I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, but it's close games, though. Yeah. You gotta give us that super close games. Uh, I don't know. We look, it's looking tough. It's looking strong, but we can still turn it around. It's still what, what only 11 games in. 
we can go on a crazy win streak. Who knows? But yeah, it's just we, we, it's been super competitive games. Nobody can say. I think so. We got smashed like only a couple of times, but the last what three, four, five games been like like Down to the final shot. Yeah, yeah, been like two two points, right? Three points. So I know. I, I man, I was sad that Siakam lit, missed that last shot, the last game though. You know, man, right? He was right there. So it just happens. You know, sometimes you go to his leagues uh, and uh, we find out. You know, I think so. It's, they're rebuilding or rethinking, and they're going to find it out. You know, they're turn around the Raptors, former champs. I think they put it together. Yeah, and I think, you know, they aren't playing in Toronto, out of Toronto. They're down in Tampa, so yeah. I think that has a lot to do with it, too. Yeah, I think so. it's a little bit different. You know, it's, it's, it definitely is a little different, especially with they brought, yeah, they probably got to stay in there because Tampa is like fully open, so their bubble over there is super small. You don't want nobody getting COVID and stuff. So, yeah, it's just it's, the lay of the land is very different out there, I think. Well, I know the Toronto fans, though, are craving for a big sports moment. I think it's on you on Saturday night to provide it for them. I can't wait. I can't wait. Make sure you guys tune in. The 10th Island, I love you guys. I miss you guys. Uh, you know, hopefully uh, hopefully we get back to, uh, to uh, regular fans and regular events soon so we can do one in Toronto. I miss it. I miss, I miss the event. I miss my Decembers in, in, in Toronto, and um, I can't wait. Man, well, I appreciate the time. Toronto fans, look out for Max. He's coming back. He's in the Octagon Saturday night. ABC, home of the NBA Finals, as I said. Tune in. Thanks, Max. Thank you, brother.